Welcome back to the Orange and Blue Report. I'm here with UVA Athletic Director Carla Williams, and we're talking master plan and all things UVA athletics. The football team learned Sunday around 4.15 that it would play South Carolina in the Belk Bowl in Charlotte on December 29th. The official announcement came a little later in the day than some people were expecting. Was there any behind the scenes drama with that? There's always behind the scene drama with, uh, with just about everything. But of course, there, there are a lot of conversations, a lot of communications, because a lot could happen. There are a lot of moving pieces when you're trying to, to place teams at, at bowl sites. And so the conference was, was uh, phenomenal. And we had a lot of conversations with a lot of the bowl reps. And we are beyond thrilled that we're going to Charlotte for the Belk Bowl. As AD, what's your role in the bowl selection process? It's really up to the conferences. I mean, the, the teams do the best that they can do during the year, and then you're really just uh, sitting and waiting to see what the uh, how it shakes out, because it's not just the ACC, but you're also um, waiting to see how it shakes out in other conferences as well. So for me, it was just a matter of making sure that I was in constant communication with, uh, with the conference. With your background at the University of Georgia, you're obviously well versed in SEC football. What do you think about the matchup with South Carolina? I love it. I, I love it. I think it's great to play in this in this bowl in Charlotte against an SEC opponent. And, and I know several of the uh, folks on staff at South Carolina with the team. They're, they've got uh, Georgia backgrounds and so they've done a really good job over there. Will has and so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the matchup. The regular season did not end the way anybody here wanted but the football team has a chance to finish with eight wins for only the second time in the past decade and it's headed to bowls in consecutive years for the first time since 2004 and 5. Do you worry that the disappointment over the loss to Virginia Tech is overshadowing the progress that Bronco and his program have made? No, no, I don't because I see progress and I, I know what it looks like and, and we are, you know, we're in the trenches and we see the small incremental improvements that it'll, it will take to build the foundation that's needed for sustainable success. I love passion and I think it's a great sign when you're upset at a loss, that means you care. And that's a huge step towards improving a program. 